All right, happening today, the Florida legislature is expected to take up 17 bills in Tallahassee, including one that seeks to redefine or define anti-Semitism. This comes amid a nationwide rise in anti-Semitism specifically after Hamas's October 7th attack against Israel. So we have reported on some of those acts of hate right here in our community. CBS News Miami's Morgan Reiner is in Miami Beach with details on this legislation. I mean, I think the big question here, Morgan, is how do they plan on defining anti-Semitism? Well, Keith and Betty, not only does the bill define anti-Semitism, but it also gives modern day examples of what anti-Semitism looks like. The goal is to help monitor and track those hate crimes in the state so that the state can better address the huge rise in them. House Bill 187 says the state would take up the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance, or IHRA's definition of anti-Semitism. In part, that's defined as a certain perception of Jewish individuals which may be expressed as hatred towards Jews. I've experienced a lot of hate towards the Jewish community even during our public meetings. Um, statements such as, you people are ruining the community. Anti-Semitism is here in our communities. Just last month, I covered a press conference with over a dozen mayors from across South Florida who spoke about the rise in anti-Semitism locally. We've seen an increase in attacks on our synagogues and hate crimes against Jews. At CBS News Miami, we've reported on an increase as well since Hamas's October 7th attack on Israel. Surveillance video from a popular cafe on Miami Beach caught someone slashing and ripping down a banner. A Miami man was arrested in October for threatening to kill hundreds of people at a concert if the FBI didn't protect him from Jewish people. Police arrested another man for threatening a Jewish day school, claiming he was with Hamas and had explosives. We can't stay silent. We have to speak out and take action. Modern day examples in the bill include denying the Holocaust, dehumanizing stereotypes that Jews hold disproportionate institutional power and control the world economy, and holding the Jewish people as a whole responsible for the actions of the Israeli government. The bill passed the Judiciary Committee last week by a vote of 20 to 1. It had support from everyone other than one South Florida representative who believed that the definition of anti-Semitism was too broad. That bill will be voted on on the House floor today. I'm live on Miami Beach, Morgan Reiner, CBS News, Miami.